Hey everyone, so back over here at the shop, and Dad's been working on the Hummer. He actually got the body mounted on it, so it's on here, sitting a little high, a little bit more than what we want. Uh, the wheels, we're not quite sure. They might come out and meet the body, but also on burnout stuff, you want them tucked in so when the tires come apart, it doesn't just beat the crap out of the body. But you got it on there. Yeah, we got it up on there. So yes. it's, it's kind of what you were thinking, but it's also the frame's a little bit longer out here than you were thinking. <laughs> kind of, wheelbase still works, but the frame is definitely yeah definitely longer than necessary kind of got it leveled out and yeah it just so happens there's a mount like a hole from the original mount like right under here so i'll cut this off and I, that should be fairly easy to mount here and then i'm gonna have to try to keep the suspension so i kind of got it this is actually one of the stock uh body mounts here yeah i'll remove everything here and then the, the, the mount going straight down is roughly bad right in here i got it marked on the inside once i get the body off i'll transfer everything but this right here shows the transfer so i'll keep this angle so the body will you kind carry of bring down. it down with it yeah maintain my distance then i'll build a mount up grab the original hummer mount right here so i can still kind of use the i was thinking about chopping this here yeah i'm trying I, to give you a little bit of i'm gonna have to flatten this off i measured everything where i'm wanting I'm roughly coming down about six inches. So, so I'm just trying to make everything on the chassis yep. come down to about six inches. Yep. Everything where it'll touch, I, I've went in and cleaned it, but obviously the shock's gonna go away. I haven't determined. I have to look at some options and see like what kind of mount or shock. We're still debating on if we'd go like with a solid shock in the rear, or kind of what's gonna work, but. Right, yeah, some of this is unknown until we. <laughs> until we try until it. Until we try Might it. use uh, Bernie as a little test vehicle and see if the solid shock works well, and then if it does, we could use it on this or whatever, which this one's a lot bigger, wheelbase is a lot longer, so it's hard to say how it's gonna really react, and this isn't a leaf spring either, so. Right, yeah, we got normal spring, whole different shocks on the back, sway bar on the back, so. I'm sure we're up against some. But otherwise, I mean, it looks pretty cool. If you're just building something, or had a Hummer body laying around and you grabbed a Suburban, yeah. do different offset wheel, you could almost build a little Hummer out of it. Oh, absolutely. It still looked the part, especially if somebody comes in and puts some aftermarket wheels on it. <laughs> yeah. You, no, I don't know that anybody really know that much. Not too far off. The, yeah, right. One of the biggest issues that we're seeing is the engine sits so far forward that with the uh, front end, this is actually like right at the front end on yeah. it. So it's, Pretty that's much right here. Pretty close. This. All this is going to get cut off here. So that's what he's been doing. He's been marking out the chassis, trying to get your idea of where you want to cut it. To in a sense get the body mounted, right? Like, right. Just try to get the body where it's in a sense going to sit long term and then start. You can move the motor. You can kind of make your tranny mount, start manipulating everything else around it. But you got to get the body sitting where you kind of want it to sit. Absolutely. Yeah, I, got, I have to move that in because like I said, you're gonna, I'm going to get this squeezed in so it'll go in to match the frame roughly going to be able to sink the body about six inches which will be even with the bottom of the frame that's there existing now yeah it'll kind of so that's about the difference right there is the body will come down and be at the frame there so it's not and then you might end up trying to figure out a way to like in a sense lower the chassis itself to get it even lower yeah I, that's what i was looking at on here i know you can get a uh well i haven't verified it but I know on a lot of the trucks and stuff, you can get a two inch drop spindle, A arms, that kind of stuff. I don't want to get into all the crazy, spending lots of extra money, but. Trying to use as much of the chassis as you can. Yeah, but I think the suspension's pretty easy. I can gain a couple inches out of it, just my doing my own stuff as far as the lowering. The torsion bar will go away. So I'm gonna end up having to cope with some kind of a spring. So maybe end up using a uh, uh, coil over of sorts. So this would have been easier if we had started probably with a two wheel drive Suburban, but. But locally to us in Colorado, there's a bunch of four-wheel drives, not as many two-wheel drives or not. Price, bang for the buck, whatever, ones that fit this concept. He ended up finding a good right. deal on a four-wheel drive. We picked it up. So you actually went and got the two-wheel drive spindle. Yeah. So you pull the four-wheel drive out. If you pulled out the axle, the, the wheel will come off. This So the actual axle is what helps hold it in with the, it's yeah. like a little three-bolt flange yeah. that yeah. holds so it's it. Super easy. You pull this out, boom, you got a two-wheel drive. And so, but this is all contained within this the whole hub assembly. So it's really pretty easy at that point. So really all he's worried about doing is putting that on to get rid of then the front uh, little gearbox and axles can go away. Probably have to go to a coil over type spring up here or right. something, uh, which kind of need anyway, if you're gonna try to lower it. And then that's what will help the torsion bar 
go away, which it needs to because the frame needs to come all the way in. This is about the width of the frame. It's gonna have to travel all the way down. So this, this step out won't be used anymore. It'll just be that, that flat spot there. And then this side too, you guys can kind of see the frame will just shoot straight back. And then that's what helps get underneath the Hummer big wide uh, tunnel right there. Yeah, it ends up being, it have to be 35 and a half inches on the outside of the frame. And right now it measures 50 inches. So you gotta take a bunch out of there. From a Suburban, yeah, on the out, furthest outside. Super easy to work on the tranny though. Oh, that'd but, be a breeze. <laughs> so that big main brace is gonna get cut out of the frame too. That's, and then he'll end up making a new trans cross member. Uh, and then the torsion bar mount can unbolt too. That that's gonna go away. So pretty much the right. whole chassis through there is gonna go away, and then you'll just end up building. You're thinking we thought we kept going back and forth on this. We we're thinking you know go round tube or square like rectangular two by six, which kind of fits the closest to what's in here. And right, yeah, this it actually measures is uh, a, a little bit wider than a, say a two by six, but six inches is pretty close. It'll get you close to what you're. Yeah. To, uh, to make it and then step back out and yeah i did a little blending and stuff but if he did he could do it like a round tube build kind of like what he did on the buick and then build little braces and stuff but uh i don't know try something different and yeah. it kind of works and then be mig welded and not have to do all the tube work all the coping as much you still got to cut all the angles i guess but uh, yeah this is a simpler build be a little bit different it. yeah it'll be really super strong especially with all the torque we're going to apply to it and obviously the sudden stops and jerking around and but he's thinking that on this that the engine is going to probably slide back about 10 to 12 inches uh to gain room for the radiator all that stuff and then also if eventually we end up doing some crazy engine like a blower or whatever coming out of here it'll be back kind of near the glass uh not like way out here in front of the car so it'll look better too um, but we're still deciding on exactly what we're gonna do for engine wise to get going leave it semi simple and then always go from there because we're sure all this burnout stuff in the next couple of years <laughs> is going to get out of hand like every form of motorsports but uh need to just try to get it running driving and learn from it right and then you can always build from the from the general basics yeah. of where things set plus this will be so easy to do a motor swap out jeans <laughs> yeah. pull a couple pins on the front the front clips out of here and yeah you can you pretty much have a removable front end up. like a race car yeah it's yeah, more or less what it is everything pivots forward on the on the humvee so and then he's got all sorts of cool ideas as far as just things to do is maybe have some flags on it or do some other crazy stuff and well uh, this thing you said was like uh ambulance right to yeah begin that's with. what i was told so it's kind of it looks goofy because there is no main brace yeah, that's here. what I was told. This started out as an ambulance, and I guess this is all part of the thing. I haven't ever looked at one to see complete. One of them big, like, the ambulance things, so. top on it. So He's going to build something or figure out some sort of roof skin thing to yeah. put in here. But put some half doors on it's my intent. So The, the bodies are all aluminum, so you got to adapt over to aluminum or bolt it or whatever. Right. Use some of this. or Build a little frame. We are talking about maybe even building, like, an aluminum little bar up here. We, we're not too sure, but uh every project has its differences i guess so he what we did earlier is through a measuring tape on here kind of found center of the wheel well center of the wheel so then he knows this is where it has to sit that so that is extra that has to go away and then same with the front for where the front hits which also picks up where the engine's at like could you slide the body forward probably to center the engine more sure but your wheelbase would be a way off at that point so right to keep wheelbase correct, which that was kind of the part, you figured that the Hummer was 130 inch wheelbase, the Suburban was 130. So the wheelbase is correct to begin with and right. you have somewhere to start. Right. That way I still got my rear suspension. That's my intent is just to try to keep the dollar value from getting out of hand for me. <laughs> yeah, so start, yeah. Start something you get brakes, you get suspension, you right. get something. You're not building a complete chassis from scratch by any means. Yeah, I got something to start with. And what we're doing here doesn't it doesn't require all the craziness. Be cool, but a lot of money. <laughs> well, that was kind of way back when we were thinking. He wanted, I mean, before even the Buick or anything, he's always thought about trying to build something all-wheel drive, slam. This was kind of one of the ideas he had. Um, times change. You'd see how expensive, like, those drivetrains are for high horsepower. All-wheel drive stuff gets crazy expensive and then now the burnout stuff's starting to grow and do all that so he's like yeah yeah this is definitely a, a much cheaper build from my first concept of the h1 of sequential box yeah trying lower, to go all, all crazy drive, that would have been a complete chassis turbo yeah complete chassis that would have been a 
and that's what we were thinking like what can we do even if this thing has a cam like bernie does it might not have enough power really to kind of wick this thing up maybe we're thinking like a turbo 400 is going to help with that uh give it a little more gearing and all that but you saw you know zoomies or a big exhaust comes up to that to a turbo or eventually a blower or something but again trying to keep it simple get out and have fun with it usable but not just over the top try to one save some money two not take a build that takes so freaking long to get done just get it out play it, and enjoy it and then learn and go from there Otherwise, pretty cool deal. So he's gonna actually. You got all your marks now on the chassis. Yeah, I got my marks. Transfer across right. and things. Boy, I got my ride heights for where the thing started originally with the suburban, so I can kind of come back with my suspension. I know where I got at least go, and then I'm where I'm working from. Not that that's matter. I'll kind of create my own. But uh, you gotta still stay within the geometry of being able to get your wheel, your alignments, and yeah. So what he's what more or less gonna that. your under, your steer, so you're not oversteering yeah. it. So you still got some variables you got to maintain. So now you're going to go ahead and pull the body off. Yeah, pull the shop body the off. frame. Bring it back. Well, pull all the motor, pull yeah. everything out of it. Go through all that some stuff. Of the other stuff. Cut some of the the non non. Yeah, the stuff you know stuff. that's going to go away. And get got my center portion, and then start building my main frame rail. Shoot, I should have that built pretty much within a couple of days pretty much back to that and then i and then can really come back on start building my body mounts get the body kind of sunk over it and see where you're at again right yeah but once it's past that i mean then you we get the engine back in it in a sense you could wire it get a drive shaft and right in a sense having a driving vehicle it's not exactly maybe what you want but it's oh yeah then i can start too my far off. bumpers then i can work on my doors yep. i can work on my uh roll more kind of cosmetic sense. stuff yeah just to kind of dress it up a little bit more put the lights back in it and stuff just some simple things just to kind of make it look the look the part the part decide whether i'm going to put a front the humvee uh brush guard back on it just some of that stuff otherwise it's so, coming together yeah. looks pretty cool we're going to go ahead and grab the body and go ahead and remove it set it back off to the side and then get the chassis back inside so we can start cutting it up and working on it from there going to do the basic stuff like what we did on Bernie, you know, oil pump, cam, intake, stuff like that to get it ready for uh, whatever we decide to do with it, I guess. But just doing that, like, you know, basic rebuild or freshen up, I guess you could say, is kind of what I call it. So there's the chassis all bare. Again, like that stuff's going to go away completely, so that'll get cut. That mount will go away. New trans mount, but the frame's going to end up being about this much narrower uh, on both sides. So it'll actually just Really, the frame's about the right width up here and in the back. It just needs to stay that width the whole way. Right. And then uh, it's going to work out. It'll have a pretty aggressive break right here to come around this. Yeah, so I'm going to figure right here. You can see the mark on the inside here. I don't know if you've seen that. That'll be the frame rail here, and then I'll carry it over. And then, and then that's we'll where it'll on. tie right and then back I'll end in up having some sort of little be angle like brace this. or something in there. Yeah, and then I'll plate it back on the bottom, so that'll grab my lower mount between this and this frame. So that'll make that back to strength. And it's real simple back here. There ain't hardly much back there in the chassis. So. Yeah, and if I didn't want to get, I don't know. But I, I could have not sunk the body over as far and not even had to get into this. Yeah. And stuff. I think this is only off by about an inch. But there again, I'm trying to keep everything low. Trying to so. get the body as low as possible. Yeah, so this is part of what I'm up against. Yeah. Pick and choose your battles on that one. <laughs> That's no kidding. All right, guys, there it is. First look at the project with the Hummer body on it and the chassis, which a long ways from what it'll actually look like, but you got to get start somewhere with what you're aiming for and what you're going to end up with. So that's the chassis will soon hopefully have a hummer mounted to it but that's what he's going to bring it in get this stuff out we'll start working on that chop it there chop it there build the whole center portion of it and then go from there on uh getting the mount the body fully mounted with the uh, mounts then you might have a hummer one day <laughs> no you got a hummer it just sits I out here in the hummer. sand it's just not looking the 
looking to part yet. Well, Soon. It's getting there. It's getting there. Quick look at how the chassis is going to hopefully come together to get the body on it. But we'll be back over here as the chassis makes progress and the rest of the build as well. So if you'd like to see more on this Hummer build, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.